So number one then, the first question in paper one of the 2023 higher maths. Three mark question here for differentiate this. You've got these indices here, which is exactly what you want because you can multiply by the index. But that one you should really put into a more recognisable form for you. Now the 10's got nothing to do with the power, so that x coming on top makes that a power negative 4. Presumably that's one of the marks. Now you just differentiate. Simple. Multiply by the power. 5 upon 3. Take 1 off the power. Now 1 is 3 thirds. So if you take 3 bits away from the 5, there'll only be 2 bits left. Next one. Multiply by the power. You could just do that in one go. Negative times negative. Positive 4 tens 40. But when you take one off the power, it gets even worse. It goes to negative 5, of course. So going back one. Now, I'm not sure if that's all they require, it may well be. But if you want to put it back the way you found it, then the way you found it was actually leaving this one alone as 5 thirds of x to the 2 thirds, but putting this back underneath. So plus 40 over x to the 5. You'll probably find that that was sufficient to get the three marks. Number two then, four marks this time for find the equation of a perpendicular bisector. If you're given these two points, P and Q, and you have to find the equation of the line that bisects that line segment PQ at right angles. Four marks. Now you don't need the diagram, but if you were to put a diagram down maybe to help you get your check your gradients. So you're talking about two back and six up, somewhere around about there much further forward, somewhere about there. So there's PQ. So that gives you an idea of its gradient. So you want the perpendicular bisector. Cut it in half, I'll give that point a name, M. And you want the line to go, oh, I missed it, at right angles. So that's the line you're looking for, this line here. Well, to get the equation of a line, you'll need two things. You'll need a point on it. That'll be the midpoint, you'll need its gradient. You'll get it by reference to this gradient. So that must be the first mark then. What's the gradient of PQ? So it'll be the 0 take away the 6 for the difference in the Y. The 10 take away the negative 2, so I'll put it as 10 plus 2. So that's negative 6 upon 12, which is negative a half. Let's probably a mark from that. From that, you can extract the perpendicular one. You might need a statement that the product should come to negative 1. I'm just going to go straight in with it. So the perpendicular gradient will be the negative of the reciprocal, whatever it takes for the two of them to multiply to give negative 1. Now, the other thing I'll need is the midpoint. Average of the coordinates. Negative, you could go straight in with it. I mean, you could do all sorts of things. You could just do it in your head. Or you could say they're 12 apart, so go back 6. So that makes it 4. Well, wasted all that time Right, okay. Uh, plus the 10 over the 2, and then 6 plus 0 upon 2. Halfway, so M's going to be, which you could just have gone straight in with. So that's going to be 8 upon 2, which is 4. That's 6 upon 2, which is 3. So that may well be 3 of the marks so far. One for that, one for that, one for that. Now you just put it together to get this perpendicular bisector. Y minus the Y coordinate, make sure it's of this point. Y minus 3 is the gradient, steep up, times X minus the X coordinate, which is 4, and then just finish that off. So it'll be 2X minus the 8, but plus a 3, so minus 5. Number three, for three marks, solve this little log equation. Log base five of x minus log base five of three comes to two. Well, I don't know what power of five that is or what power of five that is, but I know that if I subtract them, I'll have the single logarithm of the quotient of x over three. And I know that if I want to remove that, then the inverse to that would be log base five is five to the power which means x is going to be taking that 3 across and multiplying 
that which becomes 25 is x is 75.